Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel. Seek the soul, the truth lies within. And today is the third day of a godly blessing. We're going to record again three days of a godly blessing. Third, fourth, and today is this fifth day of a godly blessing. So hold on and listen to these godly blessings to open your mind and learn something new for the mind to be more stable and more powerful and to have values in our life. So the blessing goes like this. May you be Maya proof. Now Maya doesn't mean having wealth. Maya means to have ego of wealth, ego of any other thing in our life, jealousy or hatred or lust or anger and greed and these things are known as Maya. So Baba says, Godfather says, may you be Maya proof. That means may you be protected from these negative traits and with God's love fly above any pull of the earth. So pull of the earth means worldly things which can attract our mind we are learning a method in which god is teaching us how to go into liberation that means go into mukti so i the soul you the soul have to go into liberation and what do we need mukti from or liberation from from the ties of earthly attraction earthly people earthly relationships so god says the time of this drama to come to an end has come very soon is going to come about right right around the corner and we need to get ready to become detached from earthly attractions so that we can become lighter as a soul and leave the body without any hassle so god says god's love is the means with which you can fly beyond any pull of the earth so either god is pulling us with his love or worldly attractions worldly things worldly relations are pulling us those who stay beyond any pull of the earth that is beyond any attraction of the body consciousness cannot be pulled by maya so if we are more soul conscious and less body conscious that means we are not tied down by the thoughts of our body bodily needs how when what will happen in the future tied down by the worries of our family members that is also body consciousness god then says then then my love can pull you and you can love me and be in meditation with me and I'll take care of your problems. God says no matter how attractive Maya's form may be, that attraction cannot reach any of you who are in the flying stage. Just as a rocket goes beyond the earth's gravity, it shoots up. In the same way, you also have to go beyond this earthly attraction. And we have to go back to the supreme abode where supreme godfather lives so we have to practice going back into liberation so raj yoga meditation or brahma kumari's raj yoga meditation is all about finding the method of liberation and working on it so the method is being taught at brahma kumari's the method of liberation and we have to just practice it and become lighter and be ready to go beyond this physical attraction of this body and bodily things then God says, the way to do this is to become detached and merge in love for the one father. Detach from attractions of worldly things. Detach from expectations from worldly things. Even expectations from ourselves in this Kali Yuga or in this Iron Age world. Keeping expectations of worldly achievements also becomes sometimes becomes a burden onto us. And we cannot leave into liberation or mukti with that burden. So by doing this, you will become Maya proof. More details about this can be learned at Brahma Kumari's Godly Spiritual University. The method for liberation, the method to become lighter in our mind so that we can be completely proof of sins. That means we don't have any proof of sins in our life anymore. We are slowly, slowly absolving all our sins and we are becoming sin proof. And with God's love, we are finding the direction to move into liberation. So with this... Om Shanti.